Hey guys, it's Paylor here, and we are back in my laundry. <laughs> gonna do another spotlight. Uh, this time I'm gonna be touching on my Death Killer Water Ike that I kitbashed. Super happy with this one. So when I saw that someone was interested, uh, specifically Frost and Fists, uh, they wanted to see a, a spotlight specifically on my Death Killer Water Ike. More than happy to. I put a lot of effort into this, and I'm more than happy for people to see it. Uh, I got a lot of positive feedback on the Death Dread spotlight that I did, and the Army Showcase has got me a shitload of subs as well. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep up doing this kind of content for a little while, I guess, while I'm really bored and not doing anything else. Don't mind me drinking my coffee, it's about 9.30 in the morning, and uh, yeah. So before we touch on the War Trike, I just wanted to show you guys, just for a bit of context, this is Big Red. Here's my original war boss on a war bike, which coincidentally was a tricycle, so war boss on a war trike. Uh, did this super early days, like f right at the start of me having an orc army. Put this guy together, t took the, so it's obviously a death copter body, with three truck wheels, and then glyph on the other side of what is four big shooters with the rockets cut off. Just a power claw from a war boss, and then a just a normal guy from the death copter kit. Glyph on the front there. Just everything tying together. Logically, this doesn't work. Nothing's actually holding these sections on. There's nothing under here. There's nothing like bracketed there. But whenever anybody asks, they're like, "But there's nothing holding the wheel there." I'll be like, "Hey, orcs, orcs think it works, so it just works, all right? Just don't argue it." But yeah, this is something that I've always been pretty happy with. It looks mean. It does, you can't really dispute that it's a war boss on a bike, just looking at it. It do, just does look... It looks mean enough, looks big enough. And yeah, it pulls it off well enough that I was always happy with this. But then when the Death Killer War Trike came out, or the stats for it came out, I was like, holy shit, well I can't afford to buy one, but fuck, I can make another one. So it was like, hold my beer. And just look at the size comparison between these things. They're fucking oh, crazy. Absolutely insane. Very, very happy with how this thing has turned out. So the base this one's on is the same as the new buggies. Or the like shock attack dragsters or whatever the fuck they're called. So it's bigger than like a Turvagon base. Just for a bit of size reference. It's fucking insanely huge. And then the body on this, because I've actually, instead of having the tires on the side here, I've had it, got it on the end and I've tied it all together with bits, it's made it that much longer. So this thing is an absolute beast. So just bringing it in closer. This is None of them are attached to their bases. I'm working on their bases for the, the Revenue Wing. But bringing this guy in closer, he's going over the bits. Uh, obviously three truck wheels, the whole front section is actually, that's a, a truck axle, that whole front bit. In between, there's this is all done with plastic card, uh, plastic card tubing, and then just onto the, the, the def copter body. Just extra bits of gubbins put on there, we've got a uh, wrecking ball segment here, just to make it look like it's got a chain coming off this side bit. Another truck bit with the back uh, rear cover, and then a power claw from or a, a claw from a can on the side. Doesn't look out of place. Looks really cool. Another truck piece, bit of segmented fucking exhaust coming out of the side. Again, looking insane. It's a war boss from Assault on Blackreach top half, just on the normal body of the uh, Def Copter. So if you're looking at it close, it does look a little bit silly, but from a distance, no one's looking at that, they don't care, he just looks sick. Uh, obviously the armor panels, or all of the shoulder pads, just adding a bit more bulk to the top part of him. The claw has been cut off, and I've added in, pretty sure it's a Forge World bit. I'm not sure where exactly I got it from, but I'm pretty sure it's Forge World. The drill piece, that it's subbing as a claw, so. Looks really, really cool. Very happy with it. The front bit here, you can see that's off a, a Def Dread. Coincidentally, 
my dev thread is actually missing that piece. That's where it's gone. And then we're looking at the top part of this. Big shooters coming off the sides are attached to the bike. And then I've added, these are buggy bits, like second ed or third ed buddy, buggy bits from the, the plastic kit. So they tie in really well. But the way that I got it mounted, it just looks like it's throwing out a shitload of DACA, which is exactly what it's meant to do. But yeah, super, super happy with how this thing has turned out. It's an absolute beast. It might not be insanely fantastic on the tabletop, but it certainly looks that way. So that's been another spotlight for one of the characters in my Orc Army, uh, featuring the Death Killer War Trike. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe, do that YouTube stuff, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss an upload, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.